Hey, what's up? Scott Balkan here with Imagination Creation Films. And today we're talking about car rigs. So a lot of you have seen those really cool motion shots in cars where they're chasing after other cars and getting close and you can do those slight pans and tilts and it rolls and just all kinds of cool movements. And yet when you strap your GoPro on the front of your car, it just doesn't quite look the same. That's because you need the right gear. And the right gear is some type of gimbal. You need some type of motorized uh, controlled gimbal that is strong enough to A, handle the rig that you have, and B, handle the wind that you're about to put forth onto it. The next thing you're going to need is an isolator. You need some type of isolator, and that will basically take out the jolts because you can't stop this with like a movie. Um, and then you need some type of car mount. Now, I want to talk about three of the products that I'm using, and I'm excited to be finally using uh, the Kessler Killshock, which is their isolator, and then also the Freefly Movi Pro, and then I'm using the Matthews uh, car, I forget which kit it's called, but it's a, basically a suction cup kit um, for cars. And it's good for uh, a lot of different configurations, but definitely you're not gonna get dynamic movements on it. But let's go over here and see what we're talking about. So what we have here, this is the Matthews main suction cup, and it is very, very stout. And then we have these two smaller suction cups that are mounted to glass. Um, now, what you wanna do is you wanna get this configured where it is absolutely solid on there. And then you want to strap it down for safety because let's be honest, you don't want to be responsible for this falling off and hitting or killing someone. It's not cool. And you need to be in a very safe environment uh, and protected at all times anyway. And so like right now I'm in a forest where there's absolutely no one. And that allows me to set this rig up and do it. So we've got it strapped down here on the hood so that it cannot come off. Um, we've got it tied in here. I just had to use a little photographic ball mount. Main reason there is that the, the hood is so sloped on this van that it makes it really impossible to get this level. And you do want this level. So this is the Kessler Killshock and it has these removable uh, uh, spring mechanisms. You can. Uh, there's three different um, three different thicknesses of of uh, springs that you can change out, and you can change them all out. Or you can change out every other. There's like a thousand different combinations of weight capacity. And what you're trying to do is take your rig and balance out all these little bounces. And this does a fantastic job. These are the reds, uh, and they are for a good. 20 pound, um, yeah, look at that. getting some weeds in there. It's for a good 20 pound uh, load in there. So we've got the Movi Pro right here, and it is it basically as light as I can get it because I am running the red with uh, the Takina Vista Primes on top. And these things, oh man. The, and, and right now I'm just kind of shooting a video for these Takina Vista Primes to really see what they can do. And uh, I mean, they're, they're performing just amazingly, but they're, they're quite a bulky and large and uh, serious piece of glass. So, you know, the, the lighter I can make this, the more it can withstand as far as jolts and shocks. So right now it is on and it is balanced. And it has uh, been performing really, really well. What I'm using to control it is you've got the Mimic here, let me sit down because I'm old and I like to sit. So we got the uh, free fly mimic here and it is controlled in gamepad mode, which I have this wonderful uh, PS4 controller. Now what you can do with the PS4 controller and the movie up there is, let's see if I can, there we go. All right, so you can pan and tilt as you're driving and you can actually turn it around and 
do driver scene or passenger scene. Or as I was doing, uh, as you'll see here in these shots, I was going driving through the trees and passing the trees while I'm panning and tilting. And it really does do some amazingly smooth shots, as you will see. <laughs> So, I mean, yes, overall, it is an expensive rig to have because you're talking about the Movi, you're talking about the Killshock, uh, you're talking about the Matthews Mount, then you're talking about your, your camera gear and all that. But, you know, when you start adding it all up, it's a small fraction compared to the price of your camera and your lenses and your filters and everything else that you're putting on. So everything in moderation, but, I mean, you're, you're going to have to start stepping up your game as you go further and further along. Well, I mean, you don't have to, there's, there's no, there's no requirement to, but you know, as you get into bigger and bigger productions, then you're going to want the bigger capabilities. Um, the kill shock, I believe is 1199 or maybe it's 1275. Uh, and you can get it from Kessler crane. Uh, and they have a new inversion mount that's coming. So you can actually hang it from like a black arm, which is a suspension arm, uh, which also takes out even more, um, the, the giant jumps and bolts. So as you're, you're bouncing up and down, it won't take out the little ones. It takes out the big ones. And then the kill shock takes out the small ones. And I believe Kessler's working on some, some new options for it as well. And then the, uh, the Movi Pro you can get from free fly systems. Uh, I have a link you, uh, click down below and I think it gives you a little bit off. I, I, I don't remember, but you know, use the link. Don't use the link. It's, it's, it's all good. Uh, but the Movi Pro, it can hold a, quite a capacity and it's, uh, I've, I've had it since the very introduction of it and it is, it's an amazing machine. And then the, uh, Matthews car rig, uh, I will link to that below. Uh, it is, uh, really a fantastically solid and, uh, easy suction cup system for your car. And you can mount it on the side of your car. You can mount it on the hood, the roof, wherever it is. Just remember, be safe. Um, and yeah, it does an amazing job, but I, I've been, uh, really dying to really dig this, the, well, dive into this kill shock. And I haven't been in a place or a location that I could do that. Finally got it. Finally got the, uh, the configuration up and running. I actually was missing a few cables and I had to manufacture them out here in the middle of the wilderness to make it all work. And even my batteries for my free fly, I, I only seem to got to, to leave with two, uh, instead of the eight that I normally travel with. So yeah, I had to transition from powering the red from the movie, which it will do to running an external power, which was wrapped up in that towel up at the top. Not super elegant, not really proud of that, but you have to do what you have to do sometimes. But it's an amazing, amazing product. And uh, you know what? Let's take a look at some of that footage right now.
that, as they say, is that. If you do have any questions or comments, do feel free to put those in the comment section down below. I do try to read and respond to each and every one of them, even if it's just to say thank you. Uh, do follow me on all the social medias. You can find me at Scott Balcom. Uh, I do have a Patreon if you'd like to help me on this journey or all of the films that I'm making or all the tutorials and all that. I would greatly appreciate it if you would help me out by going over to Patreon and just you know giving what you have or not what you have, but you know, just a little bit here and there and it all helps. And uh, also don't forget to subscribe. Click that little alert bell next to it. That way it'll notify you every time I upload a video or if I'm live streaming because you wanna know, right? I mean, I'm trying to build this community and I really do think you'd be a great part of it. So as always, as I like to leave it, don't let your passion center around your life. Let your life center around your passions. <music>